Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we're going to take a look at the initial metrics that you will see for your website, having first logged in to your Google Analytics account. To get to this screen, you've got to first go through your home screen and you can click on the website you want to look at. Once here, you are then able to see what the recent history of your website data is showing. Remember, you can change the history by clicking on this date section in the upper right hand corner of the screen. You can choose some custom variables. So today, yesterday, last week, last month, we choose last month. It's going to give us a nice tight grouping. We can click apply. It's going to change the data. Just quickly, you can also compare to the previous period. If we do that, we're going to see a series of information. The newest information is in blue and the older information is in orange. Today, however, we're just going to have a look at the month of May for this particular client. If we scroll down the screen a little bit, we can see that there is a fairly consistent pattern across this period of time, which is what we want to see. And if we look at the actual numbers, we'll see that there were 659 visits and 537 of those were unique. So a total unique or new visit number of 74%. That's a pretty healthy number. It indicates that 25% of the visitors to this website are returned, and that's more or less what we see across the market. You're going to get repeat visitors. Hopefully they're gonna be your, your existing clients or suppliers, people who want to get your details. But then of course you want to get more people, new people coming through to the website and ultimately buying your products or services. Page views is the total number of pages visited during this time, so this was the month of May. And the average visit number is 4.39 pages. So again, that's not too bad. Bounce rate is 30.80, that's good. A bounce rate of no more than 40 should be where you're aiming. The average visit duration is quite good. Again, we'll see that uh, that's five minutes and 31 seconds. Quite high. People are reading the content on the Stuart Clark website. They are engaging with the material. So that's, that's really quite good. Stuart Clark is a singing tutor and he has a lot of material about not only his product, but also information for his students on his site. That indicates why the site time is high. Okay, so that's a lot of information right there on this initial screen that you can see when you log in. This is what you need to understand about your own site. If you have visitor numbers of less than 300, you need to get more visitors. You'll need to do that through off-page SEO and using webmaster tools and there are tutorials on the Webwonks campus that show you how to do that. If however you notice that your average visit duration all the number of pages visited is low, it indicates that you don't have enough content on your website and that that content is not very engaging. So you really wanna make sure that whatever you've got on your website, whatever it is that you sell, is relevant information, is current information, and is generally easy to read. You don't wanna overload people with text, so you maybe want to have a video and an image, maybe some help links, very similar to the way the canvas is laid out. Bounce rate, again, if you've got a high bounce rate, it means that people are not finding what they thought they were going to get when they came through to your website. So look at your, your website traffic and there is a tutorial on traffic sources. New visits, as I said earlier in the tutorial, just make sure that you're trying to target no less than 65% new visits. That indicates you've got good engagement with your current clients, but you're sourcing new visitors. Okay, so that's audience overview. Go and have a look at your own website. Begin to understand what the lay of the land is and come back in a month's time and see what has transpired. In the intervening month, make sure you go to the other tutorials on our free campus. If you have a question about this video, please leave a comment at the bottom of the tutorial page. Look us up on Google Plus or Facebook, or you can of course leave a comment if you're watching this video on YouTube. Thanks for watching.